Unlike uh, Jada Pickett, old Tory, he won't be able to spin this one for some fame. The professional ankle shooter himself is <laughs> out here. Being very quiet. No quarantine radio. That's offline. And when Jay get through with him, that boy gonna be back in Toronto <laughs> on the first thing smoking. Can't come back to the States. Don't think, don't think I'm playing. <laughs> So anyway, Megan has been using this as promotion and the sympathy of support. Talking about like she's got PTSD because of the incident. And how she feels weird, you know, going through such a situation. You decide to deal with crazy old Tory Lane. That's on you. This guy is Tupac one day. He's Travis Scott another day. He's Drake on other days. So I don't know who he was when he pulled the trigger. See, this is what I don't get. Now I want people to bear with me on this because I want y'all to understand this. Now, she was with the Jenner girl, Kylie Jenner. Her and Kylie Jenner was chilling with Travis Scott impersonator Tory Lanez. So, why they chilling? Because they had been together all weekend. And this was her boy toy. Why was he upset? You wanted to get out of the car. And I'm, I'm guaranteed the clown did not try to professionally shoot your heels off. You know, I, I think the clown actually didn't know how to handle a firearm. And the clown actually put his finger on the trigger, aiming it, and didn't know the trigger had a hair trigger. It went off. Thank God it didn't do anything other than what it did. It probably hit the ground, shattered. Fragment probably hit you in the heel in two different places. And you thought you was hit twice, and he shot twice. He probably panicked. Oh my God. Get in the car. Let me get you some help. Cops were called. And everything else was handled that way. Now, Stupito didn't realize that the police had every right to unload on him. Now, if this was somewhere else, in another climate, he put everybody's life at risk in that car. But yet and still, people are like, I don't think it was really him. I think somebody else did it, and they covered him. Anyway, that's the mentality you're dealing with nowadays. People are always going down that avenue. So if we going to do something, people, let's try to do it right. And can we do that for old Carcino, man? Let's try to do something right.
We've been doing it wrong for, for a long period of time. It's time to get it right now. Let's get it right. You feel me? It's time to get it right. There's far too many situations out here that acquires attention. And we can't do that when we got clown activity going on out here. You guys were all supporting this Tory Lane guy when people were telling you for years that this guy was a clown. And we were like, look, this guy is a clown. This, this incident wouldn't have happened if you didn't empower this clown. You see what I'm saying? So when you empower a clown, this is, this is going to be the end result. It gets no worse. I don't like certain things and activities to take place, but I also don't like anybody to misuse or talk about situations that they are really far off on. You understand what I'm saying? Like this situation here, is one that we need to talk about because in today's climate with what's going on, if you don't have a licensed firearm, they could give you serious time. People who are trying to get legal firearms now, it's record high. So people are on waiting lists to try to acquire a legal firearm here in the United States of America. There's a waiting list. So let that sink in. There is a waiting list. And because there's a waiting list now, you got other people that's coming around and you know what they're doing? They're saying, hey, since there's a waiting list for everything, why are we why are we in this boat? What's going on here? I need to understand why the situ situations and scenarios have changed. You understand what I mean? Sin situations and scenarios have always changed to where our standards are off. What we allow because of fandom, we allow one person to get away with. We wouldn't allow Drake to get away with this, would we? If Drake would have done this activity, we'd be talking about it right now. Drake got to go. Oh, Drake got to get out of here. They got to get him back to Toronto. Oh, Drake, 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 Drake. But now... It's Tory Lanez. Nobody really care. I swear they don't. A black woman was shot in the leg. Or, or in the foot. By this clown artist who y'all loved on his quarantine radio show. Who beat Fat Boy Gary in a doggone freestyle battle. Whatever that was going on that they had. AKA join the lupus. So here's the news. Megan can continue this whole promotional run of her distress and her being distraught as now people are going to coach her on what to say. Because as you can see, her comments of no comment has transformed into she suffered a traumatic event. It went from I got cut by glass to I survived a traumatic event. Let that sink in.
I just suffered a traumatic event. How did we get there? Where did that come from? You just told the cops you got cut by glass. So when she do her sit down, which should be the same time as the album, then we'll know. We shall know. But anyway, thanks guys for the uh, all the love and support on the cash app. J Biz from the Stream Lab. Everybody over there donating to the Stream Lab. I appreciate it. We will be answering all your Stream Lab questions uh, tonight or tomorrow. It's going down for y'all. All y'all who supported the Stream Yard. Thank you. And definitely, we will get into a lot of more of this because there's some more developments happening. But it's just being dwarfed out by other information. So, on that note, we cue the music. Ma, ma, ma. Ma, ma, ma. Oh, uh, yeah, my cash app is Carcino, by the way. K-A-R-C-E-N-O. And no, I didn't get pulled over by the cops. I was pulling over to the side to let the fire truck move through. But thanks for the concern. I appreciate it. And don't forget, the Patreon is jumping today. As much cooking on the Patreon today, very simple. LeBron James steroid abuse. Oh, yeah. Patreon lovers, get in line. It's going down.